know, guys, I've realized something recently, and that's y you've done better by me than I've done by you. So you know, you know how I'm gonna repay you. You know how I'm gonna give back to you. I'm gonna teach you black-throated wins. How about that? So let's get plunging like stones from a slingshot on Mars, baby. Let's go, 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 go,
All right, see, so that was pretty straightforward, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our middle finger and our ring finger on the D string and the B strings, respectively. And we're going to be on the 11th fret, right? And then you're going to be split between these two strings this whole, this whole intro, right? So you're going to go, you're going to slide those up to 12. Cool? So you do that twice. And then you're going to slide from 8 to 9 with both of those strings. And then you're going to slide those down to 7, right? So you're going to go. Pretty simple so far, right? So then what you're going to do is you're going to go down from the 7 to 6 on the D string and 5 on the B string, right? So. slide up into it, and you're going to take that down a whole step, right, to three and four, okay, so, and then you're going to do this cool little thing on the, on the A and D string, okay, so you're going to go O2, and then O2, so O, and then on the second time or the fourth time however many times you want to go through that intro thing because uh with the bands when i play it like we we do that kind of like we do that jam where we just kind of like build it up you know we'll do it we'll do it a few times right we'll do four four to eight right uh, but then on that last one, when you're doing that, you're going to hit an open E. And that's going to lead you in to that E of the verse, right? So, good job. Good job. Here we go. We're going into the verse now. But remember, after every chorus, you're going to end up doing that intro line again. So, get it down. Okay, so let's go to the verse. Smack you on the ass. Go. Bringing it down. I'm running the ground. Why? Baby, verse time, it's time for the verse, it's verse time, time for the verse. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Not difficult, I'm going to show you two ways to play that, that second half of the verse, but it's, they're both very simple. So listen to both of them and then we'll do it, okay? Okay, go. <laughs> Alright, so this first part is pretty easy. You're gonna end up doing this progression twice, right? So you're gonna start on E, E major, so bringing me down to F sharp minor. I'm running around up to D, blind to A, light of the interstate to E cars. So like that's the that's the only tricky thing about this um, this song, right? Is because the way that you're the way that you're switching the chords up. It's, it's a little strange, right? You're going to have to really pay attention, especially when we get to the chorus. You're going to have to really pay attention about what words you're changing the chords on, right? So, bringing me down up to 
Okay, F sharp minor. I'm running aground to D. Blind to A, light of the inner state to E chord. Right? You see what I'm doing? We're gonna stay on E. And I'm also showing you guys the different chord inversions that you can play because uh, Jerry and Bob would have played this in different places. Jerry would have played it down here. And Bob would have played it somewhere up here where he would have been like. Right, he's doing different chord inversions, so I'm going to be putting those up. Right, so you can just kind of make those decisions however you want. So you'll be doing this chord progression twice, right? No biggie, it's fine, loosen your butthole, okay? So we're gonna start on that E. Bring him down, F sharp minor. Running around to D. Blind to A, light of the interstate chords to E, right? Back to E. Passing me by, F sharp minor. The buses and semis, D. London line on stones you're gonna hit A stones from a slingshot on Mars you're gonna hit E Mars. and now we're gonna hit that second half of the verse right where it's got that kind of ascending run but if you're just playing the chords it's gonna be an A but I'm here by the road to D bound to the low B minor bitch that I picked up in 10,000 cafes to E Mars. A again, along with the rush of the drivers to E to D, won't pick me up, B minor, the highway the moon, the clouds and the E, right, so that's, that's very simple, very boiled down, right, so if you're just doing acoustic stuff or you're needing to play the rhythm part for your band, mwah, simple as pie, right, so this next part though, you're going to be kind of taking the same idea that we were doing with those double stops, or six, whatever you want to call them, the, the double stops in that intro, right? So what you're going to do now, you're going to start on the E and the G string, right? And you're going to start on the fifth fret on the E string and sixth fret on the G string, right? So, and then you're going to go up to seven with both of them. And then you're going to go up to nine with both of them. And then you're going to go up to 12 with both of them. And then you're going to go to 11 on the G string and 10 on the E string. So that same shape we started out with, right? So. Cool. Are you getting how we're supposed to do it? So it's like you sing along with it. It goes along with the words, so. Along with the rush of the drivers, they won't pick me up. Because you basically, you just do the same things back down. So you're going uh, 6, 5, 7, 9, 12, 11, 10, 9, 7, 6, 5. Right, and they're gonna hit B minor. Highway, the moon, the clouds, and the stars. Then you'll do that same thing back up again for the second time. Up to E. And then that leads you into your chorus. See, this song is very cut, cut that. It's so dry when you look in there. It's so dry when you look in that cut, right? Okay, so don't even worry about it. Don't don't get all turbulent, okay? So now we're going to go into the chorus. Now, the chorus is fucking weird. I will tell you that. It's weird. It's a weird chorus, so get ready. Fasten your buttholes, okay? So here we go. The black throated wind keeps on pouring in with its words of a life. All right, did you get your butthole fastened? Glad to hear it. Okay, get it nice and plugged. There will be some leakage. Okay, so what we're going to do now, all right, so this is what the chorus looks like, all right? It's weird. It's different, okay? It's different. That's okay. So what we're going to do is you're going to listen, and then we will. black throated wind keeps on pouring in with its words of a lie when nothing is new. So, 
Now we're starting this out. Now, I like to do the C up to D. Right, for that black throat one part. To me, it hits harder. So that's what I'm showing you. So it's like a C up to a D, but you're gonna be choppy with this, okay? So it's like black throated wind. And then you're gonna switch to that C sharp minor. Keeps on. And on pouring, you're gonna hit A. Pouring in with its words of a lie. When nothing on nothing, you're gonna hit E minor. That's why this is weird, because it changes, and then this this half is different than the second half. Okay, but don't get as animated as I am. I'm allowed to. I'm the internet personality. I can get bigger. But what you need to do is you stay calm because it's weird, okay? Black throated wind, the chops, C sharp minor, keeps on to a pouring in with its words of a lie when nothing is new. And then you're gonna hit a C to an A. You can do that same kind of step up from C to D. Oh, mother of, then you're gonna immediately go to C sharp minor, American night. But you're also gonna, so this part's weird, okay? So you're gonna do that same slide up to D. What you're gonna do now is like the time between them is shorter. Does that make sense? So, oh, mother American night. So American night. So C sharp minor A, American night. And then from there, you're immediately gonna go down to E minor and hit that high pitch. That shit. <laughs> I couldn't even do it. I don't. I can't take that seriously. But I mean, probably in the scenario, I would do it and take it seriously. But uh, for all intents and purposes, that's hard to do seriously. But so. So. I'm lost from the line. And then now we're gonna go down to G, to D, to A. Yeah. Better by me than I'm done by you. Right, so at the very end, after the last chorus, then it's just G, D, to A. Yeah. That's the end of the choruses. So it's like, going back home, this is what I'm gonna do. And then you would chill on A. Right, so during the regular choruses, you would just end up hanging on that A, and then you would go back to the intro, right? But for the last chorus, you're gonna you're going out on that G D A, right? So it's that. So, and when we jam that one, good job, by the way, good job. You learned the song. Mwah, you've done so great. Mwah, I love you. You did so good. Mwah, kiss you on the head. Scruff your hair a little bit. Ruffle that hair. Whatever that's called. Tossel. I'm a tossel. You noggin. Okay? It's a little noggin tossel for you. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a loop of that G, D, A and solo over that. Now, you can solo over the verse, but it's more fun to do it over the G, D, A. I'm just saying. And there's a cool way to do that. You're kind of starting on a G and ending in A. You could solo in A the whole time because it hits both of them, but I kind of like hitting that G. I'll do both to show you. Like hitting the G first and then moving to an A is pretty cool, but we'll, we'll get it set up and then we'll do it, okay?
So, not great, but not the worst in the world. Uh, it's hot up here. I'm sweaty. Goodness gracious. What the fuck is that about? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please, subscribe, like it, all that stuff you're supposed to do. If you haven't yet, that'd be dope. Um, also, if you're interested, you know, buy the Golden Road Guitar Course. You send me $130 to my Venmo or my PayPal, and you'll get it. I'll just send it right over to you. It's a Dropbox link, so... Bada bing, bada boom, that's it. It's a course that teaches you chord inversions, the whole, whole half method, practical use of those things. That's how I play the guitar. So if you're interested, do it. If you're also interested in fucking balling Toby and Davey threads like I'm wearing right now, you can get those at realbird.company.site. You can also join our Patreon. There's lots of ways to help the channel out. You can also just fucking tip for the lessons if you want to. Doesn't matter. Either way, I love you. Get out there. Go play with your friends. Play with yourself. Play with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Just don't be a dick, baby. So I love you. Do the right thing. Mwah.